Time travel is real. I've discovered it, and now I can wax lyrical with any historical Tom, Dick, and Harriet I care to visit. Don't you wish your time machine was hot like mine? Don't you, baby? I'm Ziggy Montgomery, and welcome to another episode of... venture now over four centuries ago to a teeming womb of royal kings in a land of hope and glory. If you haven't heard of today's guest, get thee to a nunnery. He's a man of the people. His acts have made men laugh, others cry, and left some people just plain confused. Welcome to the show. Oh, it's good to be here. Fuck me running. That was a very spirited intro. How are you today? Kickity boo, I'm top of the fucking morning, mate. I just put two bob on Chelsea and they come through. 3 1 in the final. It was touch and go there, but sure as bum touches cloth, we got there. That is a metaphor my brain can never forget. Lickety boos. Ooh! Yes, please, I'll take two. All right. Now, apart from a few tidbits of information, the details of the first 20 years of your life have been shrouded in mystery and are sketchy at best. Would you care to fill us in on what you were up to in the first 20 years before you went mainstream? Oh, well, I ordinarily like to take that stuff pretty subtle because I like, like, the shroud of mystery adds to my mystique. Of course. I did an undergraduate majoring in chemical engineering with a minor in dance, and then I went to work in a video store for a while, and then we had no customers because obviously VHS was still, everyone was still on beta, but we managed it mainly in VHS. Wow. And then um, after that, I joined a circus. Oh, doing what? Or mainly catering. <laughs> Many argue the legitimacy of your achievements. Who the fuck argues the legitimacy of my achievements? Uh, many? Give them names, mate. Well, many historians... Man have... up and give me a name. Well, many historians have said that your work might have been done by someone else and you just claimed it for your own. Well, I mean, everyone borrows a little bit. Oh, do they? Yeah, like, you sort of, like, nip into a pub, someone's writing something down, you know, oh, I have a little look at that, oh, I like that little phrase, I pop it on my little play. All of a sudden, you've got a little pop and play. And then it's going really great guns, right? And then you pop into another pub and you say, someone's left a manuscript there. They've gone to the toilet, right? They've gone to drop some meat in the, in the shitter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll just tell you that manuscript, cross their name out, bye-bye Marlow, oh, my name's Lickett Shakespeare. Well, that is correct, that is who you are. Now, you are one of history's... Of course it's my fucking name, I know my fucking name, mate. OK, settle down. You settle down. But apparently you're one of history's true romantics. Have you got any hot dating tips? When a woman looks into your eye, you look just straight back. And if there is something you can think that she lack, you just go, don't worry, love, look at stars above, and in your heart you will find that she's your true love. And sure as night follows day, and beta follows VHS, or the other way around. My mind's a bloody mess. Just duck into that pub and steal some other's play, and you will get to read a romance that will greatly say, oh my love, stars above, look at you bright there. I wish you had that woman's hair. That was well, magic. That, it's, a working, it's a work in progress. I'm I not, think not it's proud, finished. But, I no, think it's oh, finished. No, 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 you're being too kind. It's time for our fast five. Are you ready? I'm ready. What's up with iambic pentameter? Bit of a wank, don't you think? Yeah, well, I mean, it's just something I made up. It's simple to write in that way. Fair enough. What's your favourite quote? Everyone quotes you. Do you have a favourite quote? No one puts baby in the corner. <laughs> oh. Thou shan't put baby in the corner. Oh. Fuck. Got two bites of that cherry. Anyway, off we go. Next. If Betty Botter bought some butter, but she said the butter's bitter, would a better bit of butter make my batter better? I'm going to say yes, with the proviso, if the batter isn't better, you get another butter, then you put the butter on the batter, then you get a better butter better. Couldn't have said it better myself. Thank you. What was Queen Elizabeth really like? Well, she was a, she was a generous lover. <laughs> mm, do tell. Her back rubs lingered a little bit, but I'll never tell about what we really did. You're a good man. You once said, I shall laugh myself to death at this puppy-headed monster. Who were you referring to? Queen Elizabeth. You have a complicated relationship at best. It was love hate. William Shakespeare, it hath been my pleasure. Oh, good. Fuck <laughs> 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 That was weird. Ah, thanks for tuning in. Go forth and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like the video and leave a comment below. And stay tuned for next week's episode. Ah. These ropes were then made. Sold to pirates, see? They used them on the seven seas. Mm, right. Would you care to name all the seven seas? Yes. Green, blue, yellow, dark purple, orange, black. You've got two more. White. And the one that shall not be named. Ah. Shh.
Don't name that scene. Don't name it.